All right, so let's work through an example here just to get practice with summation notation. Um, so again, uh, this is one of these problems where we're using the index to define the entries in our list, right? So the entries in our list are given as some function of the index. So rather than having to write down a whole list of numbers, um, we can tell you how to generate them. Uh, of course, at this point in, in the process where we haven't really learned properties yet or, or you know, techniques for, for manipulating sums, um, we're still going to have to generate that list, right? So we're still going to have to go, and maybe I'll, I'll do it vertically this time. That works better for my space. We have i, we have ai, um, one, two, three, four. I think we go seven's the highest we have there, five, six, seven. And so we say, OK, um, two times one minus one is one. Two times two minus one, three. Two times three minus one, five. And you, maybe you realize all we're doing here is, is listing the odd numbers. So then we go, hey, let's just list odd numbers. 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. Okay. So what do we have here? It's just the sum of the first six odd numbers. So it's 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus, uh, plus, oops, plus 9 plus 11. Okay. And then you add them up. Uh, 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 5 is 9, plus 7 is 16. Oh, you might also r recognize something here. I add these up, I get 4. I add these up, I get 9. I add these up, I get 16, right? Uh, I add these up, 25. Tack 11 on, 36. And, and you might recognize these numbers, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. Oh, we saw those in the previous example, or at least some of them, right? 9, 16, 25, 30. these are just squares. They're the perfect squares. Um, so one of the things you might realize here is this adds up to 36, um, which happens to be 6 squared. So if you have a sum like this, right, for this formula, starting at 1, ending at 6, um, Maybe you come up with some technique to convince yourself that this pattern is always going to hold, right? So for every value of n, if I go the sum going from 1 to n, that that answer is always going to be n squared, um, then I don't bother generating the numbers. I don't bother adding them up. I just take this number and I square it, and it's going to give me the answer. And it turns out this is true in general. Um, the techniques for proving it are probably not covered in your calculus course. Um, you might see them in a later course where you learn some you know, techniques of proofs. So there, there's a technique called proof by mathematical induction um, that would allow you to establish this as something which is true in general. We don't have it here, OK? It's an interesting result, though. The next one, 3ai minus 4. What do we do with that? Well, I guess we can come back here and we can say, what, what if I want to do 3ai minus 4? So we take the numbers that we had, and so we go 3 times 1 minus 4 minus 1. 9 minus 4 is 5, um, 15 minus 4 is 11, and then we do 21 minus 4, 17, uh, 27 minus 4, 23, 29, and then uh, 39 minus 4, so 35. Did we get those right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So. So far, so good. Um, notice that we're going up by sixes every time, right? These went up by twos. Now we're only going by threes, so we go up by six. Good. Um, okay. Uh, so we can just plug those numbers in, taking care that this time the index starts at three. So we go to three. We have eleven plus seventeen plus twenty-three plus twenty-nine plus thirty-five, and then we add those up. Okay, leave it at that. Um, one of the things that we'll see later on when we do properties, um, just like we noticed in this example here, is that you could split this sum up, right? Um, you could do the sum of the 3 times ai and then subtract off the sum for 4. Um, you might also guess that, you know, because we have distributive property, uh, adding up 3 times ai is the same thing as just adding up the ais and then multiplying by 3. Right? Okay, last example. We're summing squares, right? So we're going to do 1 squared 
plus 3 squared plus 5 squared plus 7 squared. That's all it's asking us to do. Again, we can work out those values. We can compute the squares, add them up, but let's leave it at that for now and uh, move on, look at properties.